Hello there, it's Tony Harmer here from Adobe UK and welcome to another episode of Work Smarter, Not Harder. In this episode, we're going to be looking at drawing this dartboard layout. This happens to be known as a London board. It's the standard kind of dartboard that you'll find in use in most pubs in the UK, certainly, and uh, around uh, the world, of course. So I'm just going to remove that one just there. I did actually have to draw one just a few weeks ago as part of a customer demo. So you never know when these things are going to pop up. But while you might not have to draw that many dartboards, it's kind of handy to think about how you might construct things. I'm going to be using one of my own toolboxes just here, which of course is easy to create inside of Illustrator CC. You can see I can just come here to Tools and create my own new Tools panel and then drag the tools into it. And this particular toolbox helps me out with the tools that I can't access via keyboard accelerators. So I'm going to use the group selection tool, which normally lives underneath the direct selection tool. And I'm going to use the shaper tool uh, in Illustrator CC 2015. I'm going to use the polar grid tool and the live paint selection tool and maybe a couple of other things as well. So I'm going to start off with the polar grid tool and I'm just going to come over to the center of my artboard here and I'm going to alt click to draw from the center. And this is the size I'm going to start off with here. I'm going to start off with 150 millimeters in both directions with six concentric circles there and 20 radial dividers. So if I just click OK, and of course you can use whatever dimensions you need to use then I'll get this grid like so. I'm just going to change the stroke color there to black so that it's easier for you to see. Then I need to select some of these rings to get started. So I'm actually going to show you the difference, first of all, between the direct selection tool and the group selection tool. Because when you draw using this tool, you're actually creating a group. In fact, it's a couple of groups there nested into one kind of super group. If I use the direct selection tool on one of these, you can see that I'm essentially getting only that segment. But if I use the group selection tool, then I am selecting that component part of the group. So I'm going to tap S once I've got that selected to activate the scale tool. Then I'm going to hit return so that I've got access to the dialog. So I'm going to dial up here to 145% like so and that makes the outer ring there of the dartboard now it's also going to make the stroke wider because i've got scale strokes and effects on but i'll kind of unify those once i've done drawing so i'll just hit ok so that's the outside of the main board then i'll go back to my direct selection tool select the next ring and tap s again you'll notice that the origin of the scaling is directly in the center and that's exactly what i do want so I'm just going to dial this one up and let's bring the size down here to about that, about 128%. So all I'm doing there is using the up and down arrow keys just to change the number in the uniform dialog. And I'll hit OK. Back to the uh, group selection tool and if I tap here and select the next one, this is going to become the outer ring of the trebles area. So I just need to scale that down slightly. So I'm just going to bring that down to just under 100%, I think maybe about 98% is, is probably good, something in that sort of region. And hit OK. Back to the group selection tool, select the next ring just there, and this is going to form the inner part of the trebles ring. So I'm going to scale that one up. That's going to be just a bit more. So I'm doing this one pretty much by eye, so I think that is pretty good there at about 114%. So I'm happy with that. Now I've got that, what I want to do is actually rotate the whole thing around through 9 degrees. Uh, so I'm just going to tap R, hit return. 9 degrees is actually already in there because I did this to draw the board uh, that you saw earlier on. So I'll do that because each one of these would add up to 18 degrees and I just want to move it by half a segment. So 9 degrees, of course, is that half. Now I'm going to switch out to the shaper tool just here. So I'm going to zoom in on the center and I'm going to select from my toolbox here the shaper tool and now I'm just going to start to erase some of this stuff you can see that I can just rub that out just by rubbing across it like so 
and it's removed. I'll need to expand this because it forms a sort of a shaper group. So I'm just going to merge that and then expand it. So now it's back to just being uh, a group. And I'll get my group selection tool. Now I'm going to select this ring just here. This is going to form the bullseye. So I'll tap S for my scale, hit return, and I'm going to drop this down. It's going to need to be about a quarter of that size. So I'll try 25%. Actually, that's not too far off. Just model that up and down. In fact, 25 is good, so I'll hit OK. That's done. Once I've done with all of that, I'm just going to unify the stroke sizes here. So I'm going to go for two points just on this one. And once I've done that, I'm going to turn this into a live paint group. Now, the shortcut for that is Alt Command X or Option Command X or Alt Control X if you're on Windows. Or you can go to Object Live Paint Make from there. Then I'm going to select the Live Paint tool. The accelerator for that is hold down the Shift key and tap L. And then I'm just going to drag across that whole lot just here and select everything. So I actually do want to make one other thing. So I notice I might be selecting the strokes there. So I'm just going to double click that and turn off the option for it to select strokes. That will be a bonus a bit later on. And now I'm going to go to one of my Creative Cloud libraries. And I've got this dartboard color theme here that I actually extracted from a photo using the Capture app. So I'm just going to choose to add that to the swatches. So now it's available here for the swatches. And then I'm just going to tap this dark gray just to fill up all of those shapes there. Then I'm going to move through these. So I'm going to start off with these segments, which should be the lighter one. I'm just holding down shift here and picking these things up. I could equally have used the live paint bucket to do this part, but I just find this a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to change that color just there. Then I'm going to go to the red section here, which of course includes the bullseye. Perhaps should have done that last as sort of a big finale stroke, but that's just fine as it is. So it's going to select these segments just here. Okay, and once I've got all of those, which should take me about another second or two to do that, I'm going to make those red because that's the color they should be. And then really it's just a matter of these remainder segments. If I go around the outside just here, just do that to pick all of those up. And then come into the inner trebles ring just here and pick up these things and just move around like so. And once I've got those, I can just make those green. All I need to do now is just to select the whole board and then come along and change the actual stroke color for that. So again, if I choose this for the wires in there, you can see how now I've drawn a dartboard layout minus one thing. I just missed the 25s area there. So I'm just going to select that and add that in as well. So please do share and don't forget, you can always tweet me at Tony Harmer. Thanks for watching.